I think throughout this, my ALA membership, so initially my ALA qualifications and then my ALA membership has really helped me along the way. And I just wanted to let you know a little bit from my perspective why that's helped me and why I think it could help you too. So one of the first things is that I really, was really, really wanted to do my uh, qualifications when I was a letting agent uh, when I first started. Because I felt to me that it was so important to do these qualifications that when I was talking to landlords and tenants, when I was arguing with a landlord because he wouldn't, he wouldn't abide by his landlord's repair and obligations and fix his boiler, or when I was arguing with a tenant because um, they got something wrong on tenancy uh, deposit legislation and, you know, they always know that they're right. Um, I knew then that when I, what I was going back to them with was correct. And I learned this through the qualifications, through, you know, on the job, but through the qualifications as well. The qualifications explained to me why we did certain things. I always remember being amazed <laughs> when I found out that actually the reason that we send the tenants a copy of a gas suit when we renew the gas suit mid-tenancy um, is because it's legislation. We have to send them a copy within 30 days. And actually, I just thought that it was just a process of the letting agent that I worked for. And, you know, I'd just been following it blindly, not knowing that actually it was part of the legislation that you had to send the tenants a copy. So I remember when I started learning these things, thinking, ah, this is why we do these things. So yeah, the, step one, the qualifications themselves are really important and they'll give you the confidence when you are having to deal with these difficult situations with landlords and tenants that you know what you're talking about.